Welcome to our latest Instagram marketing video training designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of Instagram on behalf of your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate Instagram marketing in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos, ready to show you the latest Instagram marketing strategies. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Video number one, what is Instagram marketing all about? Video number two, optimizing your Instagram profile for doing business. Video number three, researching the best hashtags and topics for your Instagram campaigns. Video number four, creating a basic Instagram marketing post or product teaser. Video number five, promoting an Instagram post from the app. Video number six, using Instagram stories to raise product awareness. Video number seven, repurposing your Instagram content for other platforms. Video number eight, using Instagram Live for a product reveal. Video number nine, promoting a Facebook post on your Instagram account. Video number 10, running a Facebook video ad on your Instagram profile. Video number 11, running a product catalog ad on Instagram. Video number 12, Instagram marketing tips for brands and businesses. Video number 13, creating the type of Instagram content that customers love. Video number 14, tips for capturing and editing the perfect Instagram photo. Video number 15, Using and understanding Instagram insights to track your performance. Video number 16. Proven Instagram marketing strategies to try. Video number 17. Instagram marketing do's and don'ts. Video number 18. Instagram marketing premium tools and services to consider. Video number 19. Instagram marketing success stories. Video number 20. Instagram marketing frequently asked questions. I know you'll love this training. What is Instagram marketing all about? Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Instagram marketing. The ultimate Instagram marketing crash course for anyone who wants to learn how to use Instagram to build their online presence and grow their business. We want to thank you for picking us as your guide in this exciting journey, as well as congratulate you for your decision to improve your online marketing game. Here you're going to learn all you need to launch and grow your brand or business on Instagram, how to reach the perfect type of customer, and how to generate more profits with advanced level strategies. But first, let's start with the basics. What is Instagram marketing? Instagram marketing is quite simply the use of the Instagram platform and its features to market your content, your brand, your products, your services, and your business. Content creators, brands, marketers, and businesses have learned how to use it to share stuff like pictures and videos in a way that is so casual that immediately engages which makes it the perfect platform to promote and sell through visual discovery. Instagram marketing is a combination of organic social media marketing strategies, visual discovery, and built-in advertising features that are unique to the Instagram ecosystem. How does it work? Instagram marketing works great because it lets you showcase your products with images and because it helps you create brand awareness through photos and videos that you can use to tell stories or to highlight the coolest parts of the lifestyle that you want customers to associate with your brand. You can leverage Instagram's scrollable gallery format to grab the attention of users with a powerful image or video that makes them stop to check your post. Once you've captured the attention of a user with a visual element in your post, the next step is to make them take action. Instagram helps you in this step by letting you add copy, captions, calls to action, and hashtags into your post. This is how you can drive people to a landing page, or to comment, or to click on a hashtag to discover related content. 
This simple method is very effective to drive awareness, engagement, and action in basically any business-to-consumer niche. And it works because it helps the user make an instant visual and emotional connection with what you're trying to sell. For example, if you're running a baking shop, you can post photos of your sweets to Instagram two or more times a day. And you can optimize your image posts with hashtags related to that business, as well as with geo keywords that will help potential customers in your area to discover your shop. Couple that with behind-the-scenes videos to give your shop an air of coolness, and soon you'll be attracting new customers to your shop. Other powerful features such as integration with Facebook ads can help you take your business to the next level because it lets you run paid ads and promotions across Instagram, Facebook, and many other places around the web. Why should you consider Instagram marketing for your business? Instagram is big and active. There, you'll find over a billion active accounts worldwide every single month. This gives you a great opportunity to expand your business to a larger and possibly global audience. 90% of Instagram users follow and interact with business accounts. Of those, at least 30% have purchased products that they have seen on Instagram. Instagram helps you to showcase your products or services in a very casual way, thanks to its unique creative tools and immersive formats. Instagram enhances the way you reach people with your message along the customer journey. Instagram allows you to create a profile that is visually appealing and where you can add a backlink to your business website or any other landing page. It integrates with Facebook advertising, which will help you to explode your reach and sales with ads that are cheap and high converting. What's the future for Instagram marketing? Instagram is working on amazing features for businesses as we speak. Now, one that is worth looking forward to is integration with Facebook's Brand Collabs, a platform where content creators can find brands that they can partner with. Another cool feature Instagram is working on is running Instagram shopping posts as ads, which are posts that feature products that people can purchase with a single click. This can be a tremendous opportunity for independent product creators and small retail brands on Instagram to increase their sales. The future looks bright and profitable for Instagram marketers. So, are you ready to learn all about Instagram marketing and get ready to make it big? Yes? Then awesome. See you in Lesson 1 next. Optimizing your Instagram profile for doing business. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to lesson number one of the latest Instagram marketing training. Here, you'll learn how to get your Instagram account ready to promote your stuff and do business. When you create an Instagram account, you only get access to basic features for common users. But if you want to be able to use business-friendly features such as your business profile, promoted posts, and insights, you have to switch to a professional account. And in this lesson, we are going to show you how to do it easily the right way. Getting started. Start by opening the Instagram app and log in to your account. Now tap on the profile icon in the lower right corner. Once in the profile section, tap on the menu icon on the upper right corner, then tap on settings. Now you are going to tap on account. Next, Click on the Linked Accounts option. What you'll do now is to connect your Facebook account to your Instagram account. This will make switching easier. For this, tap on the Facebook tab. Make sure you are already logged into Facebook on your device when you do this. Tap on Connect. You can then select whether to enable Facebook sharing to share your Instagram Connect to Facebook automatically. For this example, we are going to tap on Not Now. Switching to a professional account. Switching to a professional account is the best way to grow your brand and business on Instagram because that's how you can access professional tools that are not available to basic accounts, such as advertising and analytics. Doing the switch is very easy, and you can do it in just a few taps without leaving your device. 
Start by tapping on the profile icon to go back to the profile section. There, tap on the Edit Profile button. Once in the Edit Profile section, tap on the Switch to Professional Account link. The first step is to select which best describes you. You can select Creator if you run an account for a public figure, a content producer, an artist, or an influencer. Or you can select Business if you'll run an account for a retailer, a local business, a brand, an organization, or a service provider. For this example, we are going to select Business so we can switch the account that we manage for our online business. As you can see here, switching to a professional account will allow you to learn more about your followers through insights, to reach more customers with paid promotions, and to add a contact button to your profile that will make it easier for people to get in touch with your business. Let's tap on the Continue button to move on. The next step is to select a category. You can either select a category from the list of suggested categories, or you can enter a keyword into the Search Categories field to find the perfect category. Once you select a category, tap on Next. Now it is time to add your public business information. There are three types of contact info you can add here. Your business email address, your business phone number, and your business address. The information will be displayed on your profile so people can contact you easily without having to visit your website first. Here you simply have to add your contact info and then to click on Next. In case you don't want to add this information to your profile, tap on Don't Use My Contact Info. In this example, we are going to add only our business email address, which is filled by default. So we'll tap on Next to continue. Now it is time to connect your Instagram account to your Facebook page. Start by selecting the Facebook page of your business from this list, then tap on Next. Customizing your profile. Now that you've successfully switched to a professional account, tap on Go to Profile. Then tap on Edit Profile to go to your Instagram business profile to apply some optimizations. Start by tapping on Website. Here you are going to add the URL of your business website. Now tap on Bio to add a brief description of your brand or business, and to add keywords as hashtags related to your business and niche. Later on, you can use this field as part of a funnel, where you can send people from a post to an actionable link that you'll add to your bio. To finish, tap on Done. And that'll be it, friends. This is how you can get your Instagram account ready for business. Researching the best hashtags and topics for your Instagram campaigns. Hey there, friends. You've just turned your personal Instagram account into an optimized professional account to do business. And now you're ready for work. The first thing you'll do before creating content for the platform is to find the best hashtags to use with your account. Finding targeted keywords in your niche is important because you can add those as hashtags to your posts to make your content more discoverable. And in this lesson, we are going to share with you the easiest way to find the best hashtags and topics to use for your business. Getting started. You can easily find the best hashtags and topics for your business using Instagram's search function. For this, simply open the app while logged into your account and tap on the search icon. This will take you to the search page. Most people use this section to find trending content published by the accounts that they follow related accounts, and to find content and accounts using keywords, just like they would do on Google. Likewise, you can use this feature the same way to find your hashtags and topics. Finding top hashtags and topics. You can start by checking what's on top of search results when you use one of your base niche keywords. A base niche keyword is simply a keyword that is common, high traffic, and openly used in your industry. For example, if you run an account for a beauty blog, you can use makeup as your base keyword. In our case, because we run an account for a wellness and health business, we are going to type healthy into the search bar. This will show you top results related to your keyword. As you can see, this includes personal accounts, business accounts, hashtags, and even locations related to that keyword. 
There are two things that you can do with these results. One is to take note of featured hashtags. As you can see, these hashtags are featured in millions of posts across Instagram, and they're targeted at users looking for specific topics related to your keyword. In our case, you can see that top topics related to our keyword include lifestyle and food. This means that you can add these long-tail keywords to related posts so we can reach people looking for that kind of content. The other way you can use these results is to explore featured accounts to reverse engineer the content that they create and to collect the hashtags that they use. For example, you can tap on this featured account to check their profile. Here you can see the keywords that they use and how they customize their profile. Let's tap on one of their posts. Then let's scroll to the bottom of the caption where we'll find the hashtags. As you can see, there are some hashtags on this post that you may not be familiar with, but that are related to the niche that we are researching. What this means is that there is an audience made of people that are using these hashtags to find this type of content. So, it is a good idea to save these hashtags to a file, so we can use them on a similar post to attract this audience to our account. Finding Related Hashtags there is also a dedicated section where you will only find hashtags that are related to your keyword. Let's go back to the search section so we can show you. There, tap on the Tags tab. Here you will find all those other hashtags that you can use to reach your perfect audience. One thing you'll notice is that some of the hashtags on top were already featured in the top section. So the correct strategy here is to find lower traffic hashtags at the bottom of this section. Hashtags with 1 million posts or more are great because they are used by a lot of focused members of your target audience who are much more engaged with the content that they're looking for. This means that these hashtags, while they don't generate as much traffic as hashtags with over 20 million posts, generate more relevant engagement and they're less likely to attract engagement from bots, which can lower the score of your account. So, what you'll do now is to tap on one of those keywords to see what type of posts are using it. This will help you to find ideas to create content of your own. Something cool you can do is tap on follow to follow content posted using this hashtag and to see even more related hashtags to examine and follow. And that's it my friends. Now take your time to check the rest of the hashtags featured in the tag section so we can move to the next step. Creating a basic Instagram marketing post or product teaser. Hey there, everybody. Now that you've found the best hashtags for your business and topics for your content, it is time to create your first marketing post. When creating an Instagram marketing post, the idea is to share content that is casual enough to generate engagement, but that also creates awareness about your brand or about one of your products or services. In this lesson, we're going to walk you through an example where we create a marketing post designed to promote a product we sell by asking our audience a casual question to encourage engagement. Getting started. To create a post, open the Instagram app and tap on the plus icon in the Actions menu. Next, you have to select what type of media you use on your post, photo or video. We highly recommend you to take your product pictures or videos before you create your posts and then to tap on library to add your media. This will give you time to produce better visuals for your posts. In this case, we are going to select the picture of a cool upcoming product that will sell as merchandising. Once you select your media, tap on next to continue. After selecting your media, you will be prompted to edit it. Instagram offers you a nice variety of editing tools to enhance the visual impact of your images and videos. Here you can start by selecting from different color filters to give your media a different look and feel. Then you can tap on edit to further adjust some values such as brightness, contrast, structure, warmth, saturation, color, shadows, and much more. Once you are done editing your media, tap on next to continue. Creating your post. 
Now it is time to create your marketing post. Let's start by composing the caption that will appear on the post. The secret behind composing an engaging caption that encourages people to interact with your account is either to write about a topic that your audience is sensitive to, such as a pain point or a hot take, or to include an actionable element, such as a question. Questions are great because they're the easiest way to trigger interactions. By asking a simple question related to the product or topic in your post, you'll be encouraging people to comment and share your content. This is important because generating engagement organically is the best way to grow your account and increase its relevance. So, let's open up this caption with a question, asking users how they would use the product that we are promoting in the post. This is an indirect way to advertise the product and its benefits, by directly asking potential customers about uses for it. Once you compose this caption, you have to add your hashtags. Now, when it comes to adding hashtags to a post, you will not need to add every hashtag in your niche, but only hashtags that are directly related to your post. While Instagram lets you add up to 30 hashtags in a single post, we found the optimal number to be 5 hashtags or less, though it is a good idea to try for yourself and add up to 15 hashtags across different posts. Then you can check which posts got the highest engagement to determine your optimal number of hashtags per post. We're now done creating this post and there are a number of settings we can adjust before publishing it. You can tap on Tag People to tag other accounts on your post. You can tap on Add Location in case you want to tag a business location on your post. And lastly, you can post to other accounts, including other Instagram accounts on your device, as well as accounts on other social platforms. Once you are ready to publish your post, read your caption to proofread for spelling errors or missing content. Then tap on Share. Your post will be posted right away to your account. And now your followers will be able to see it and interact with it, as well as people using the hashtags in your post to find content that is relevant to them. And that's it, my friends. Try creating up to 10 posts to fill your profile with content. Next up, we will be showing you how to advertise your new post so you can reach even more people fast. Promoting an Instagram post from the app. Hey there, friends. Creating and sharing posts on Instagram is an easy way to grow your brand account while having fun on the platform. And although you can reach an amazing number of people organically when you share engaging and relevant stuff, you will get to a point where you'll hit a growth wall. It could also happen that you'd want to generate more engagement and drive more results faster. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to promote one of your Instagram posts right from the app, the easy way. Promoting a post. You have to start by picking a post that you'd like to promote. For this, open the Instagram app and tap on the profile icon to go to your profile section. There you will find your published posts by scrolling to the content column below your bio. What you'll do now is to pick a post to promote. Once you decide, tap on the post thumbnail to open the post. Once you're on the post, tap on the Promote button. Selecting an objective. Now you'll be prompted to select an objective. This is what you want to achieve by promoting your Instagram post. You can select your profile if your objective is to get more users to view your profile. This will add a visit profile call to action to your post to prompt people that you reach with your promoted post to visit your profile and view more of your content. You can select your website if your objective is to send people from Instagram to your website. By selecting this objective, you will be able to add a CTA button that will encourage users to take action. And you can select your direct messages if your objective is to encourage people to send you direct messages. This objective will add a send message CTA to your post that invites people to send you direct messages. For this example, we are going to select your website so we can send people to our business website. Because we selected this objective, we will be prompted to confirm website as the destination. It is already selected, so we'll simply have to tap on next to continue. Customizing the campaign. 
Now it is time to customize your campaign settings. This includes defining your target audience, your budget, and duration. Let's start by defining your audience. First, define whether you want to target special requirements in certain members of your audience. Special requirements include attributes such as credit, employment, and housing. You can target special requirements if you're running campaigns where you promote credit, housing, and employment opportunities. To enable special requirements, simply enable the special requirements option. Then select the special category that you want to target. We won't target special requirements with our post, so we'll simply continue without selecting a category to keep the special requirements disabled. When defining your audience, there are two ways to match your targets. If you select Automatic, Instagram will target users that are similar to your followers. And if you select Create Your Own, you will be able to create your audience by yourself. If you select this method, you will be able to select your target locations, your audience interests, age, and gender. For this example, we are going to select Automatic, so Instagram helps us reach users that match the interests, locations, and demographics of our existing followers. After defining your audience, tap on Next to continue. Now you have to define your budget and duration. Start by selecting how much you'll spend daily using the Budget Lever button. Now select the number of days you'll promote your post using the Duration Lever button. You will see your total ad spend across the duration of your campaign, as well as your estimated reach above. Once you are done selecting your budget and duration, tap on Next to continue. Launching your promoted post. You've just set your promoted post campaign, and all you have to do now is to review your promoted post settings. Once you are ready to start advertising your post, simply tap on the Create Promotion button, and that's it. This is the easiest way to reach even more people with the same content fast and at a very affordable cost. Using Instagram Stories to Raise Product Awareness Hey there everybody! Instagram posts are one of the best methods to deliver your branded content, but they're only half of what Instagram lets you do, because you can also create Instagram Stories. If you're familiar with Instagram Stories, they are slideshow-type posts that let you share content that looks and feels more interactive. Because Instagram Stories are so engaging, you can use them to raise awareness about a product or topic easily. And in this video, we are going to show you how to create a branded story quickly. Getting started. One advantage of Instagram stories over regular posts is that they appear right on top of the timeline. This is an area that is readily accessible to users. It is horizontally scrollable and saves stories for 24 hours. This means that users are unlikely to miss your stories. To create an Instagram story, simply tap on the Your Story icon on the Stories bar on top of your Instagram timeline. Creating Your Story Unlike a regular post, an Instagram story is simply media with no captions or optimizations, such as an image, video, or recording, to which you add cool-looking and interactive elements. The first thing you have to do is to pick your story format. The normal format allows you to take a picture, to record a video, or to select media from your gallery for your story on normal mode. The boomerang format allows you to record a video that loops. A boomerang story looks similar to a GIF, and it works great for product teasers or behind-the-scenes stuff. The layout format will let you add multiple images to a single story layout. You can select from different grids that include from two to six placements to create a collage. The super zoom format lets you record a segment that highlights a portion of your screen with a super zoom effect. The hands-free format allows you to record story videos without having to press the record button. And lastly, the create format will let you to freely add interactive elements to an image or video from your gallery, or to use other types of elements such as shoutouts, GIFs, story templates, polls, questions, donation boxes for nonprofits, countdowns, and quizzes. This is the format that we'll use for this example. So let's stay on this screen. 
You can use these elements to create crazy combinations that will keep your followers entertained and engaged. For this example, we are going to use a picture of a merchandising product we'll sell through our online store. And we are going to add some attention grabbing elements such as a call to action using highlight text and an emoji. So we'll start by tapping on the gallery icon to locate and add the product image first. Once you add your image, you will be able to use the story editing tools, which include stickers, emojis, text, and more. Let's start by tapping on the text icon to add a caption as a call to action. Type your caption, select a color, then select a size and a font style. Then tap on Done. Now arrange the text on the screen. Let's now tap on the stickers icon to add a cool sticker. For this example, we are going to select a countdown sticker to show a countdown of the date when the product goes live on the store. Tap on Done when you're done customizing your sticker. Then resize it and fix its position on the screen. Bear in mind that stories can be messy, that they don't have to be consistent with your brand's aesthetics, that they only last for 24 hours, and that their objective is to create entertaining impact, so don't worry if they don't look exactly perfect. Let's now tap on the stickers icon again to add a couple more stickers to increase the visual impact of the story. Posting your story. We are done customizing this story, so let's take a final look so we're sure it looks fine and dandy. We like it a lot, and we're sure our followers will love it. So now we simply have to tap on Send To. On the following screen, you can select whom you're going to send it to. Here you simply have to tap on Share To Your Story then tap on Done. And that's it! We encourage you to create one or more stories a day to keep your followers engaged. Repurposing your Instagram content for other platforms. Hey there everybody! Using Instagram as a platform to publish your content and grow your online presence will help you reach and engage an audience that you'll hardly find somewhere else. But you can take your reach further by repurposing your Instagram content on other channels. This strategy is called cross-promoting, and it allows you to leverage your existing Instagram content to engage users on other social media platforms and to create backlinks to your Instagram account on those platforms. In this lesson, we are going to show you the right way to repurpose Instagram content on top social media channels. On Facebook. Alright folks, let's start on Facebook. What we'll do on Facebook and on the rest of platforms we'll show is simply to take content from one of our Instagram posts, which includes the image, copy and hashtags, so we can use it on a post that we'll create there. With that in mind, go to your Facebook account and enter the business page where you'll publish your post. Next, click on the Write a Post field. What you'll do here is to simply enter the text from your caption on the Instagram post. Now, one thing worth noting is that character limits don't work the same on other platforms as they do on Instagram. And while you compose long-form captions for Facebook posts, the idea is to create teaser-type posts to encourage people to click on your Instagram link to check the original post there. One trick that works great is to open this post with headline text. This is simply a title that you'll use to catch the attention of the user. In this example, we're going to open with a question related to the product that we are promoting on the Instagram post. Next, you are going to add your post caption. This can be a segment of your Instagram caption, a description of your Instagram post, or a shorter variation of the same caption. In this example, we are going to describe the content of the original Instagram post. After you enter your headline and text, add a call to action and a shortened link to the original Instagram post. As you can see here, Facebook will generate a cool looking preview of your post by pulling your featured image or video into the post, as well as the name of your account and publication date. Lastly, add your hashtags at the end of the post right below the call to action and URL. Then click on Post to finish. On Twitter. Twitter 
is a crazy engaging platform that can funnel lots of visits to your Instagram posts and profile. The structure of a Twitter post is going to be similar to what we created on Facebook. Start by going to your Twitter account. Then click on the Tweet button. Here you are going to apply the same strategy we applied on Facebook. You just have to be careful not to go over the character limit, which is 280 characters. This means that you have to compose a shorter caption this time, so you can leave space for your URL and hashtags. Okay, so let's start by composing the headline. Here you can use the exact same headline that you used on Facebook, as it is going to have the same effect. Now you are going to add the post text. You can use the same text that you use on Facebook as long as it is short form. Otherwise, you can simply add a call to action to encourage users to check the original post on Instagram. We'll do that in this example, so you can see how easy it is. Here we'll simply compose a call to action to invite users to find lots of answers to the question in our headline over at Instagram. Then we are going to add the shortened post URL. Now you have to add your hashtags. There are two smart ways to use hashtags on Twitter. First, you can use keywords in your copy as hashtags. Simply find a keyword that is relevant to the post. Then add a hash symbol right before it, like this. The second way is to add the hashtags at the end of your text, like this. Lastly. Click on the gallery icon to upload the image or video that you used in your original Instagram post. Now that you've fully created your repurposed post, click on Tweet to publish it. Using Instagram Live for a Product Reveal Hey there everybody! Promoting your products and other branded stuff on Instagram is great for business. And there is a very entertaining, very engaging way to do it that your audience will love. We're talking about doing product reveals on Instagram Live. Instagram's built-in live streaming feature that will allow you to showcase your products and interact with potential customers in real time. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to easily go live on Instagram and how to set up a product reveal broadcast. Getting started. Going live on Instagram is a very straightforward process that won't require you to set up complicated live streaming software or super sophisticated streaming equipment. In fact, all you'll need is a good cell phone with a good camera and a good internet connection. To go live on Instagram, start by opening the app on your device. Then tap on the camera icon in the upper left corner. Next, select Live. Going Live. To go live, you will simply have to tap on the Live button. Now, there are some settings that you can adjust before going live. First, tap on the Settings icon in the upper left corner. Here you can select to hide your live session. We don't recommend you to use this feature for marketing purposes. So, let's move to the following settings. In Allow Message Replies, you can select who can message you and reply during your live session. Here we recommend that you use the default everyone setting. Now you can select how to save your live session. Enable save to camera roll if you want to save your live session to your phone. This is a useful feature that you can enable in case you want to share your video on other platforms such as Twitter or YouTube. You can also enable save to archive to save your live session to your Instagram archive instead of your phone. Next, you can adjust sharing. Here, we recommend you to enable all default sharing settings. This way, you can reshare your live session in the story section, allowing users to share your live session as a message, and share your live session as a story on your connected Facebook page. Once you have configured your live settings, tap on Done. Before going live, you can also select whether to go live in normal mode, or you can select to go live using a filter. For this example, we are going to go live in normal mode. Now that we're ready to go live, we simply have to tap on the live button. During live. Once you tap live, you'll get a message to let you know that your connection was successful and that you are live now. A cool thing that Instagram does when you go live 
is to show all your followers a notification on the upper side of the screen telling them that you are going live. We recommend you to schedule your live sessions in advance so you can announce your live reveal events across all your social channels. When you do a product reveal, you have to prepare your presentation and to have a sample or demo ready to tease the product on screen when possible. Let's assume you prepared your presentation the right way. So let's take a quick look at what you can do while you're live. First, you can tap on the gallery icon to share an image or video during your reveal. When you select an image or video, it will fill your background. This will allow you to show images or videos about the product that you are revealing and to use them for our presentation, like we're doing here. This is because you can select one image first, then another, in a way that is similar to a webinar. You can also share comments with your attendees by sweeping up. In the case of a product reveal, you can use this function to share your product launch page or product sales page URL. Your attendees will start asking questions at some point, and you can tap on the questions icon to see their questions regarding your product. A couple more functions worth checking are the direct messaging and go live with icons. The direct message function allows you to send a direct message or invitation to other accounts while you're live. And the Go Live With feature allows you to go live with any of your viewers. Once you are ready to finish your live reveal, simply tap on End, then Confirm. You can then tap on Share to Story so your live session is added to your stories for 24 hours. And that's it, my friends. A great way to drive interest in your products while you interact with your followers in real time. Promoting a Facebook post on your Instagram account. Hey there, friends. So far, we've been walking you through the right ways to use Instagram for marketing, step by step. Most of these strategies will help you to grow steadily and to stay relevant. But there's going to be a point where you'll need to scale. The best, fastest way to scale is to run paid campaigns to promote your content. Luckily, Instagram integrates with the Facebook ads platform one of the most widely used advertising platforms on the planet. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to get started using this platform by promoting a Facebook post from your business page on your Instagram account. Getting started. The first step is to access the Facebook ads platform. You can do this by visiting the facebook.com forward slash ads manager URL while logged into your Facebook account. This will take you to the Ads Manager page, where you can create and manage Facebook ad campaigns that have outreach on the Instagram network. Creating the campaign. To create a Facebook ads campaign, start by clicking on the Create Ad button. You will be prompted to select the marketing objective on the following page. Because you are going to create a campaign to promote a page post from your Facebook page on Instagram, Select Engagement as a marketing objective for this campaign. Now select Post Engagement as your objective. Then, enter the name to save this campaign into the Campaign Name field. Now click on the Set Up Ad Account button. What you'll do now is to select your account country, your currency, and your time zone. Make your selections and click on Continue. Setting up your campaign. Now it is time to set up your ad campaign settings. This includes setting up your ad set, audience, placements, budget, and schedule. Let's start by entering the name of this campaign's ad set into the ad set name field. Let's now move to the audience section. Here you are going to select your target audience, demographics, and attributes. Start by clicking on the edit icon in the location section to select the locations where you want to show your ads. Here you simply have to enter the name of a location that you want to target into the Add More Locations field. Then select the location from the results. You can add as many locations as you want. Now click on the Edit button corresponding to Age to select the minimum age and the maximum age of people that you want to see your ads. You can also click on the Edit button corresponding to Gender to select a specific gender. This is useful when you want to advertise something to a specific gender. 
For example, if you are going to advertise custom automotive parts, it is better to select male as your target gender. Or if you are going to advertise makeup products, it is better to select female as your target gender. In this case, we are going to leave the default All Gender setting as our target. Now click on the Edit button corresponding to Detailed Targeting. Here you can select more detailed criteria that will help you target the perfect prospect. This includes demographic attributes, interests, and behaviors. All you have to do is to enter a keyword into the Detailed Targeting field, and then to select an item from the results. You can add as many attributes as you want to target. Lastly, click on Show More Options. Then click on the Edit button corresponding to Languages. Now enter the language or languages that you want to target. Make sure to always target the same languages you use to create content. Once you are done defining your audience, move to the Placement section. The automatic setting allows you to promote your post across multiple placements that includes Facebook, Instagram, and other networks. But because the goal is to focus the budget for this campaign to promote a post on Instagram, you have to select Manual Placements. Next, deselect all placements except Instagram. Let's now move to the Budget and Schedule section. Here you are going to set your budget and your ad schedule. Start by selecting Daily Budget as your budget type. Next, enter your daily budget amount into the budget field. Here you can start with a daily budget as low as $5 and scale as you see fit. When it comes to the start and duration of your campaigns, you can select to run my ad set continuously starting today to promote your post right away and to stop the campaign manually later on. Or you can select set a start and end date to schedule when to start and when to stop promoting your post. In this example, we are going to select the run my ad set continuously starting today. Once you are done setting this up, click on continue. Setting up the ad and launching the campaign. Now it is time to set up your ad. Start by entering the name to save this ad into the Add Name field. Now move to the Identity section. Click on the Facebook Page menu button and select the Facebook page that is connected to your Instagram account. You will see your Instagram username below in the Instagram Account section. Now you are going to click on the Use Existing Post tab below. Move to the Creative section and click on Select Post. You will see a list of all Facebook posts on your page. All you have to do now is to click on the post that you want to promote, and then to click on Continue. Your selected post will load as the Ad Creative, and you will see a preview on the right column of this section. And now that your ad is ready, you will simply have to click on the Confirm button to submit your campaign. It will start running from 5 to 10 minutes after you submit it. Running a Facebook video ad on your Instagram profile. Hello there, everyone. We've just set up an advertising campaign to promote a Facebook post from your business page on your Instagram account. And as you can see, it is an easy method to generate more engagement from existing content. This time around, we are going to show you how to set up a video ad campaign to promote a Facebook video through your Instagram profile. Getting started. Let's start right on the Ads Manager page. Just like in the previous lesson, you can directly access this page by visiting the facebook.com forward slash ads manager forward slash URL while logged into your Facebook account. On this page, click on the Create Ad button to go to the Campaign Creation page. Creating the Video Ad Campaign To create a video ad campaign, you have to select Video Views as your marketing objective. Now enter the name to save your new campaign into the Campaign Name field. Then click on the Set Up Ad Account button to quickly select your ad account settings. Lastly, click on Continue to start configuring the campaign. Setting up your campaign. Now it is time to set up the ad campaign. Start by entering the name to save this ad set into the Ad Set Name field. Next, move to the Audience section to define your target audience. First, select your target locations. Next, 
Select your target age, then your target gender if it applies. Now click on the edit icon corresponding to detailed targeting to select your detailed targeting criteria by entering your keywords into the detailed targeting field and selecting items from the results. Now click on show more options, then click on the edit icon corresponding to languages to select your target languages. Now move to the placement section. Select manual placements, then deselect all platforms except Instagram. Now move to the budget and schedule section. Select daily budget as your budget type, then enter your daily budget amount into the amount field. Now select your schedule. For this example, we will select to run my ad set continuously starting today. Once you are done configuring your campaign at this point, click on continue. Setting up the video ad. Now it is time to create your video ad. Start by entering the name of this new ad into the ad name field. Now move to the identity section. Click on the Facebook page menu button and select the Facebook page that is connected to your Instagram account. Now scroll down to the media section and click on the add video button to upload the video that you're going to promote on Instagram. Next, click on the upload button to locate your video. Double click on it and wait for it to upload. The recommended length for videos that you want to promote on Instagram is 15 seconds or less. Longer videos can't be promoted on the Instagram timeline. You can move to the text section after uploading your video. Here you are going to add copy to your video ad. First, enter your copy into the text field. Next, check the Add a Website URL option and enter your landing page URL into the Website URL field. You can click on the Call to Action menu button to select a different Call to Action button. In this case, we'll use the default Learn More CTA button. Now that your video ad for Instagram is ready, go to the Preview section on the right to see how it is going to look on different Instagram placements. Finally, after setting up and previewing your ad, Click on the Confirm button to submit and launch your Facebook video ad campaign on Instagram. Running a product catalog ad on Instagram. Hey there, friends. Instagram has become a favorite platform among retailers because it enhances the visual experience of potential customers checking a product line. If you want to increase your sales the way top retailers do, there's no better way than to run a product catalog ad on Instagram. And in this lesson, we are going to show you how to do it easily, step by step. Creating a catalog. Before you were able to run a catalog ad on Instagram, you will need to create a catalog to promote. You can do this through the Ads Manager by clicking on the Tools menu button, then on the Catalogs option. Once on the Catalog Manager page, click on Create Catalog. Now select the category that best describes your business. Click on Next and select the method that you are going to use to upload your catalog. For this example, we'll select Upload Product Info. Now select the business that owns the catalog. You can select personal if you haven't added any business information to your ads manager. Now enter the name of your new catalog into the Name Your Catalog field. Then click on Create. You can add products to your catalog by going back to the Catalog Manager. For this, click on the Catalogs option in the Tools menu. Once on the Catalog Manager page, enter your catalog. On the Catalog page, Click on the Products tab. Next, click on Add Products. On the following page, select to add manually. Then you can start filling your product info, which includes product image, name, description, website link, and price. Once you have added all this info, click on Add Product. Repeat these steps to add the rest of your products to the catalog. Setting up the Product Catalog Ad Campaign. Now that you have a catalog to promote, go to the Ads Manager page and click on Create Ad. Once on the Campaign Creation page, select Catalog Sales as your marketing objective. 
Now enter a name for your new campaign into the campaign name field. Then click on the catalog menu button and select your catalog from the menu. Now click on set up ad account to quickly select your ad account settings for this campaign. Now you can start configuring the campaign. First, enter the name of this new ad set into the ad set name field. Now click on the product set menu button to select the products that you want to promote in the ad. Now move to the audience section to define your target audience. There are two targeting methods that you can use when configuring a catalog sales campaign. You can select to retarget ads to people who have interacted with your products on and off Facebook to show your catalog ads to people who have seen your products on your website, on your app, or on Facebook. To use this method, you will need to create and set up a retargeting pixel first so you can track when users interact with your products. Or you can select to find prospective customers even if they haven't interacted with your business. To show your catalog ads to all users even if they haven't visited your site or app. For this example, we are going to select this method. Let's now define the audience. Here we'll do like we've done on previous campaigns. First, we'll define locations. Next, we'll define ages. We'll skip gender and we will select detailed targeting criteria. Next, we're going to click on show more options to select our target language. Let's now move to the placement section. Here we are going to select manual placements and then we will deselect all platforms except Instagram. This is how you can optimize your budget to increase catalog sales on Instagram. Now move to the budget and schedule section. Select daily budget as your budget type and then enter your daily budget amount. Now select when to start running your ads and then click on continue to start creating the ad. Setting up the ad. All right folks, now it is time to create the ad. Start by entering the name of this ad into the ad name field. Now move to the identity section. Click on the Facebook page menu button and select the Facebook page that is connected to your Instagram account. There are three types of ad formats available, carousel, single image, and slideshow. For this example, we are going to select carousel as the ad format. Let's now move to the ad creative section to customize the ad. First, let's select multiple products as a catalog format. Next, let's select slideshow in the catalog card section. This option will show multiple product images from your catalog in your ad. The headline and new feed link description fields are filled with variables that pull information about each product from your catalog into the ad by default, so you can skip this setting. Now enter your ad copy into the primary text field. Next, enter your landing page URL into the See More URL field. Lastly, click on the Deep Link Destination menu button and select Open Deep Link in a mobile web browser. You can see a preview of how your catalog sales ad will look on the Instagram feed and other placements on the preview window to the right. Once you are done configuring your campaign, customizing your ad and reviewing your campaign settings, click on the confirm button to submit and launch your product catalog sales campaign. Instagram Marketing Tips for Brands and Businesses Hey there everybody! Instagram is just about the perfect platform for brands and retailers to grow because it allows them to showcase their products and branded content in an entertaining, visually striking way. Whether you're running an Instagram account for a business or your brand trying your luck on the platform, there are a series of things you can do to get more results out of your Instagram marketing game. Here are some useful Instagram marketing tips to help you make the most out of the platform. Set your marketing goals straight. Before you go building your Instagram presence full force, it is important that you define your marketing objectives. A marketing objective is what you want to achieve by promoting your business on Instagram. Your marketing objectives can vary according to the stage you're at in your business life cycle. But it is key that you start with the basics. This includes creating brand awareness among Instagram users first. 
generating engagement to build a targeted audience second, and then promoting your products and services to start moving potential customers down your sales funnel. Now, in case you have already built a presence and audience elsewhere, and you'd like to use Instagram to achieve a very specific objective, you have to start by answering the following questions. Are you going to use Instagram to build brand awareness specifically among Instagram users that you can't reach on other platforms? Are you going to use Instagram because it offers you a better way to showcase your products? Are you going to use Instagram as a customer service channel? Do you plan to use Instagram as a sales channel? Answering those questions will give you a clearer idea of your Instagram marketing objectives. For example, you might want to use Instagram exclusively to run catalog ads to drive sales, or you might want to use Instagram only to post product pictures with a call to action to encourage users to click on the link in your bio to go to your store. Reverse engineer your competitors. One shortcut that you can take to become more successful on any platform is to reverse engineer what successful competitors in your niche are doing. The people behind successful Instagram accounts know what type of posts generate engagement, what kind of posts stir emotions, and what type of posts drive sales. And they're constantly using those types of posts to get results. So instead of trying your luck with original content or improvisation, we recommend you to emulate the type of content that your top competitors share. You just have to give it your own spin. Use your brand voice and your brand aesthetics. You will see that by reverse engineering content from successful accounts, you will be able to generate results faster, and your account will grow in no time. Audit your Instagram account. A best practice among successful Instagram marketers is to audit their Instagram accounts regularly. Auditing your Instagram account means to take a good look at everything in your Instagram account and examine what's helping you to build the type of account that you want your audience to follow so you can keep and optimize those elements and eliminate the ones that don't help. Things that you have to audit include your profile picture, the copy in your bio, your URLs, your hashtags, your posts, the accounts that you follow. Take a critical look at these elements and decide what you'll eliminate and what you'll edit. Do this while picturing how a potential customer will think of your account. Create a consistent brand identity. We've mentioned that it is important to keep a consistent brand aesthetic, and this is what that means. A consistent brand aesthetic is the consistency of colors, shapes, fonts, filters, and other elements across your account and content. This will help to build a consistent brand identity that helps people recognize stuff posted by your brand on first glance. This is it, my friends. These tips will give you an advantage that you wouldn't have otherwise, and we encourage you to start applying them today. Creating the type of Instagram content that customers love. Hey there, friends. If there's one thing that you are more than aware of at this point is that content is at the heart of any Instagram marketing strategy. With so many possibilities and a large variety of powerful editing tools to pimp up your images and videos, it can be difficult to determine what's the type of content that customers like. That's why in this lesson, we are going to discuss the elements that make the type of Instagram content that customers love. Stylish, striking pictures. Instagram became wildly popular thanks to people using it to share striking, eye-popping images and pictures. And that is exactly the type of image that will help you to differentiate your content from the rest. Images that include some kind of highlight element or distinctive feature. This can be anything that catches the eye, such as a beautiful natural occurrence like sunsets, dawn, snow, bright lights and water effects, beautiful architectural compositions and special effects such as unique color schemes and combinations. Those elements, when combined with your products and great angles, will help you give your content that unique and polished look that customers love. The good news is that you won't need expensive equipment or a big travel budget to produce striking pictures. You will just need a good smartphone with a quality camera, a tripod, and basic lighting equipment. You can use Instagram's built-in editing tools and filters to enhance your pictures. 
And you can use royalty-free resources to find exotic backgrounds for your featured product images. Media Featuring People A lot of people see Instagram as a reflection of the lifestyles and things that they'd like to have. They use Instagram to see pictures and videos of people using the products that they'd like to own, of people wearing clothes that they'd like to wear, and of people visiting places that they'd like to visit someday. This means that, by producing images or videos of people using your products or services, or people visiting your business, you can increase purchasing intent and drive more sales. This strategy not only helps you to put your products and services in a real-world context, it also helps to humanize your brand and makes it more relatable. Bit-sized videos. Videos are increasingly becoming the most popular media format among social media users, especially on Instagram. That's no secret. But what's really surprising is the type of video that can help you sell the most on the platform. On Instagram, the best type of videos to drive sales are bite-sized, very short videos featuring your product front and center. Videos captured with a smartphone camera are especially effective because they give your content a casual vibe that customers love and that encourages them to buy on a whim. Loops and time-lapse videos. Video loops and time lapses are insanely popular on Instagram, and lots of brands use those formats to give a different spin to their marketing campaigns. For instance, you can create video loops where you perform an action with your products, or a time lapse video where you show your service in action until you show the results that you promise. Because these types of videos are so cool and entertaining, people share them like crazy, which can help you to reach much more customers. Image macros. Image macros are those super popular images with witty captions that people share like crazy everywhere. And while they won't necessarily help you to move sales, they can help you to capture the attention of customers in your niche. The trick is to combine image macros with your brand or with the stuff that you sell. You simply have to come up with smart comments about your products and to share them as image macros on Instagram. Potential customers will stumble upon them. They will share them and they will follow your account to see more of your branded macros in your timeline. You can also create more elaborate image macros if you can come up with tips, jokes, or inspirational quotes. Tips for capturing and editing the perfect Instagram photo. Hey there, friends. One thing we have pointed out before is that Instagram exploded in popularity thanks to image posts, which are the most common type of Instagram posts. And there's good reason for that. Image posts allow brands and content creators to share their best photos to create awareness and engagement. This is because great photos can help you to really show the quality and lifestyle that you want to reflect. To help you achieve that, we're going to share with you some tips that will teach you how to capture and edit the perfect Instagram photos. Equipment and Specs You can use your smartphone camera to take your Instagram photos as long as your camera is between 18 and 25 megapixels. Other equipment you can buy to take amazing Instagram pictures include a softbox for lighting, an adjustable tripod to hold your phone, a selfie stick. Although all pictures you upload to Instagram will be shown as square on the feed, it helps to know the dimensions of your pictures according to format. Square photos should be 1080 by 1080 pixels. Landscape photos should be 1080 by 566 pixels. Profile photos should be 1350 by 1080 pixels taking the perfect Instagram photos. Having great equipment and knowing the right specs for your photos will allow you to take amazing pictures only when you combine it with the right techniques. Let's take a look at the best techniques to take great photos with your phone. Apply the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a technique where you place the subject of your picture a bit off center to create a light imbalance that forces the viewer to pay more attention to the subject. This means that by creating this imbalance, you'll focus the attention on your product. You can apply the rule of thirds by turning on your camera grid lines. Then aim your subject in the intersection between a set of vertical and horizontal lines in the grid. 
You can enable your camera grid lines by going to your camera settings while you are on camera mode. Use Symmetry. People are naturally attracted to symmetry and cool patterns. You can achieve symmetry simply by placing your subject right at the center of your pictures. Another good technique is to use leading lines to draw attention to your subject. This is the opposite of the rule of thirds, and it can also help you to achieve very interesting results. Focus on a single subject. If your objective is to highlight a product or a feature in your pictures, the best method is to focus your photos on a single subject. This means that you have to take your pictures with your subject, whether it is a product, object, or person, against a clear or minimal background, free of other objects and distractions. A good way to focus your photos on a single subject when you can't use a clear background, or when you prefer to use a natural background for your pictures, is to shoot your pictures against negative space. Negative space is simply empty space around the subject of your picture. You can achieve this by placing your product, object, or person against an empty wall, or inside an empty room. Try different angles and perspectives. When taking pictures, it is a good idea to test more than one angle and perspective. Because people are used to seeing stuff at eye level all the time, giving your photos an interesting perspective can rapidly increase engagement. You can do this simply by changing your shooting position. Experiment by twisting, turning, and doing inverse angles. Use natural light when possible. Soft boxes are very practical, but they can cause unwanted shadows and ugly light areas that can damage an otherwise nice photo. That's why we recommend you to use natural light when possible. Taking pictures of the outdoors right before sunset or at sunrise can help you to create warm, striking, natural-looking images. Using and understanding Instagram insights to track your performance. Hey there, everyone. Tracking and analyzing your performance is a commonplace activity among marketers across all platforms. Tracking and analyzing is important because it helps you to see what content is driving the most engagement, to discover what's working, to find out what's not, and to determine what needs to be tested and optimized. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to use and understand Instagram Insights, the platform's built-in analytics tool to track your performance. Accessing Instagram Insights You will be able to access Instagram Insights from the Instagram app once you switch to a professional account. To access Insights, you simply have to open the Instagram app while logged into your account. Tap on the profile icon, then tap on the menu icon. Lastly, tap on the Insights tab on the menu. This will take you to the Insights section where you'll find detailed analytics and metrics about your content, your activity, and your audience. And we will explain what the information and metrics on this section mean. Activity metrics. Activity metrics are details about the performance of your content, such as the number of people you reach and how much engagement they generated. The following are the activity metrics you'll find in this section. Impressions. Impressions represents the number of times your content has been seen by users. This is a relevant metric because it includes all kinds of views. That means that your total number of impressions includes the number of times users saw your content, read your content, and actually paid attention to your content. But it also includes the number of times that users scrolled past your content without paying attention to it. It also includes the number of times that people visited your profile or that saw your content through a direct message. In other words, you can use this metric to determine how many times people have seen your profile and your content across all possible placements. Reach. Reach is also related to the number of views you get on your content, but this time it relates to unique views. A unique view represents unique views from an individual user. So if one user visited your profile and then searched your content, it counts as a unique view. This is a much more relevant metric because it lets you know the number of users that actually viewed your profile and content. This is a strong signal of intent. Interactions. 
Interactions represent engagement. This is likes, comments, shares, and saves. This is a much more accurate metric when it comes to determining performance because it lets you know if you're getting a healthy amount of interactions when compared to your impressions and reach. To give you an example, let's imagine that you're getting thousands and thousands of impressions and reach, but only a handful of likes and comments, and no one is saving your posts. This is a signal that you are reaching a good number of people, but that your content isn't engaging enough. On the other hand, if you're generating a thousand impressions a day, and a similar amount of interactions, then it means you're on the right track. Audience metrics. Audience metrics are details about your audience. More specifically, they're pieces of demographic information that will allow you to learn more about the type of people that you attract with your content. Audience metrics you'll find through insights are as follows. Gender. Audience metrics include the gender range of your audience. It will be represented as a percentage and it will help you to know which gender finds your content relevant. Age. Audience metrics also includes the age range of your audience. It is represented as a percentage as well. And it helps to know what's the average age of people that find your content enjoyable or useful. Top locations. Insights will also provide you with a breakdown of the locations where your audience lives. It includes cities and countries from top to bottom. By knowing your top locations, you can also uncover other details about your audience, such as dominant language, time zone, and purchasing power. Active hours. Another useful metric is hours and days when your followers are the most active. This information will help you to better plan and schedule when to publish your content for maximum reach and engagement. Proven Instagram Marketing Strategies to Try Hey there everyone! Marketing your business online successfully can take a couple years of trial and error while you develop a series of strategies that work for you. This can be a big turnoff for anyone. So we've decided to gift you a collection of proven Instagram marketing strategies so you do it right from the very start. Use hashtags to categorize your posts. You can use hashtags to make it easier for people to find your content under certain categories beyond your basic niche keywords. This strategy goes beyond using keywords that are related to your niche and product as hashtags, like we explained during the very first lessons. What you'll do is to include a combination of general hashtags, branded hashtags that you can borrow from competitor accounts in your niche with larger followings, alongside your base and related hashtags. This will help you to basically place your content under a content category when people use those hashtags to search content. Run contests and giveaways. Running giveaways on your account might be the easiest and quickest way to get a lot of new followers and engagement. All you have to do is to announce a prize that you'll reward to a random user. For a chance to win, people have to follow your account, like the post where you announce the giveaway, and share it. You can run this campaign for several days, and in the meanwhile, you'll get tons of participants following your account, commenting on your posts, and sharing your content. This will in turn increase the relevance of your account. Post at the right times. Believe it or not, there are specific times when Instagram users are the most active. In general, this can be in between off work hours during weekdays. But it's been determined that peak activity on Instagram happens from Mondays through Thursdays at any time except the hours between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. To determine the right time to post, take a look at your audience insights and see where the majority of your followers are from. You can use their time zone to determine the best times to schedule and post your content. Interact with followers. People will become emotionally connected to your brand or business if you start interacting with them, all you have to do is to reply to their comments or to like nice comments. This will help you to build a stronger, more reciprocal customer relationship, and that will cause customers to become repeat clients or even brand ambassadors down the line. Share user-generated content. Another way to make your followers go crazy about your brand 
is to share their own content. Not pictures from their accounts and such, but content that they create for your brand. That's called user-generated content. And all you have to do is to encourage followers to create content that is focused on your brand, products, or businesses. This is quite easy because you can simply ask people to take a picture showcasing one or some of your products and to tag your account in the post. For example, if you sell clothes, you can ask users to take a picture where they're wearing one of your clothes. You can also leverage certain hashtags by instructing people to use a hashtag in their caption. In fact, user-generated content is a great way to create a branded hashtag of your own, as well as to raise awareness about the hashtag. Instagram users love when brands ask them to generate content for them, because that's a great way to generate more views and followers for their own accounts. Hijack Trending Topics You can leverage the popularity of trending topics and viral content when it's fresh. For example, you can hijack a holiday like the National Ice Cream Day by creating a branded post about the holiday where you include the National Ice Cream Day hashtag in the caption. This strategy works with viral news, local events, and national trends. Partner with influencers. A great way to grow your Instagram presence and drive more results is by partnering with influencers. Because Instagram influencers have access to large, engaged audiences, you can leverage their popularity to promote your stuff. To give you an example, a single shout-out by an influencer with thousands of followers can help you generate hundreds if not thousands of unique sales. Instagram Marketing Premium Tools and Services to Consider Buffer Buffer is a social media management tool that is perfect for Instagram marketers. Buffer can help you to simplify your workflow because it provides you with tools to coordinate and schedule your Instagram posts. It also provides you with an accessible dashboard where you can reply to comments and other interactions directly from your desktop computer. Other Buffer features include the Stories Planner, a programmable first comment for scheduled posts, a hashtag planner, and custom reports. 460 460 is an amazingly different Instagram marketing tool that will allow you to turn content from your Instagram feed into cool shoppable experiences. It works by integrating with your Instagram account to pull content such as product pictures and repurpose it as e-commerce galleries that look very similar to an Instagram feed. Shoppers simply have to tap or click on one of the images and 460 will redirect them to a product page. Grum Grum is a dead simple Instagram scheduling tool that will help you to schedule your Instagram content right from the web. With Grum, you will be able to schedule and publish photos and videos to multiple profiles at the same time, and also to manage an unlimited number of accounts at the same time. Other worthy Grum features include tagging, desktop publishing, and a very intuitive interface. Crowdfire Crowdfire is a useful social media management and scheduling tool that can help you streamline your Instagram marketing activities. It provides you with straightforward publishing and scheduling features, automated post formatting, custom scheduling according to time zone, and a special scheduled content meter that will help you know whether you have enough content scheduled each week. It also provides you with powerful analytics and mention tracking features. Hootsuite Hootsuite is a versatile social media management tool that is wildly popular among Instagram marketers thanks to its powerful host of features. Hootsuite can help you to plan all your Instagram marketing content under a single collaborative calendar, to create unique and beautiful Instagram posts, to keep your content calendar active with automated posts, that fill content gaps in your schedule, and much more. Hopper Hopper is a social media management tool that is made for businesses looking for a solution to simplify their Instagram marketing tasks. With Hopper, you can create up to 50 Instagram posts at once using bulk uploading, to set individual time zones for different accounts, and to integrate Instagram analytics and grid planning. It also provides you with features such as full image editing, 
reposting, and rescheduling. Iconosquare. Iconosquare is a powerful analytic social media management and social media scheduling tool for brands, marketers, and agencies on Instagram. You can use Iconosquare to predict the performance of your content through its insightful industry benchmarks, which automatically compares your content against content published by top performing competitors, and it gives you detailed optimization suggestions to help you improve your content like a pro. Combin Combin is a dedicated Instagram marketing tool that provides you with great marketing and content planning solutions, which includes Instagram audience growth, management and attraction, post and story planning, multiple account management, engagement automation, outgoing and incoming activity monitoring, and more. Later, Later is an amazing marketing platform for Instagram that will allow you to visually plan, schedule, and analyze posts for Instagram and other platforms too. With Later, you'll be able to plan up to a week of Instagram posts in 20 minutes or less using its powerful visual content calendar. It will also let you preview your feed before you post. It would let you auto-publish without notifications required. It can help you to import media from anywhere to find and repost user-generated content, and much, much more. Linktree Linktree is a useful tool that will allow you to create a custom link for your Instagram bio. What it does is to redirect users to a page where you can add links to all your other channels, or to more product pages, or to more landing pages. This is the perfect solution to bypass the one link limitation. Instagram Marketing Success Stories Adidas Adidas is a worldwide famous shoe and clothing company. Objective The brand's objective was to promote and create awareness about a new product line brand. Strategy Adidas encouraged its followers to create user-generated posts inspired by products made by the company using a branded hashtag. Results the company was able to generate over 71,000 mentions of its branded hashtag and made over 41,000 new followers. Bloom and Wild Bloom and Wild is a flower delivery company from the United Kingdom. Objective The company wanted to attract a wider audience and potential customers for their business. Strategy The company started running Facebook ads to target an audience based off their existing email list. Results? The ads helped the company increase bouquet orders by 62% and generated a huge spike of comments on their Instagram profile. Bejeweled Bejeweled is a popular mobile puzzle game created by PopCap Games. Objective PopCap Games wanted to encourage more people to download the app and play the game. Strategy The company partnered with top Instagram influencers who shared pictures of themselves playing the game and having fun. These influencers included branded hashtags in their posts too. Results? The influencer campaign helped the game climb up App Store charts in one single month from 702 to 182nd. Old Spice Old Spice is a brand of male grooming products from the United States. Objective The brand wanted to enhance their brand identity by running an innovative social media campaign. Strategy The brand partnered with influential Instagrammers that were popular among its target demographic to run a giveaway campaign. Result? The campaign helped the brand lift brand awareness and generated over 2 million unique views across all channels. Chanel Chanel is a luxury apparel and high fashion accessories company from France. Objective the company wanted to promote a new line of perfume. Strategy? The company partnered with fashion and beauty bloggers and encouraged them to share content about the company using a couple of branded hashtags. Results? This influencer campaign generated over 1,600 pieces of user-generated content, as well as 900,000 likes during the first month of the campaign. Sonic Drive-In Sonic Drive-In is an American drive-in restaurant chain. Objective. 
The restaurant chain wanted to create awareness about a new type of milkshake that they had only sold at events. Strategy. The company ran geo-targeted Instagram ads that encouraged users to customize a milkshake and have their milkshake delivered simply by using a branded hashtag. Results? The campaign raised the company's Instagram following from 118,000 to 129,000 followers. It also generated over 26,000 likes and more than 1,000 comments. Hartley's Hartley's is a brand of jams, marmalades, and jellies from the United Kingdom. Objective The brand needed to raise awareness about a new low-calorie jelly. Strategy The brand partnered with diet influencers to promote the low-calorie jelly to females aged 25 to 34 in the UK. Results the campaign helped the brand generate a 146% engagement rate, doubled the brand's follower count on Instagram, and increased sales. Airbnb Airbnb is a global online marketplace where people can search and rent tourism experiences and homestays. Objective The company wanted to raise awareness about offerings available in their online marketplace. Strategy the company created a series of posts showcasing user-generated photos of locations in their marketplace. For this, they used photos taken by hosts and guests. Results? The campaign helped potential customers understand what Airbnb was all about, generated thousands of likes per post, and increased business through their marketplace. Nutella Nutella is a popular brand of hazelnut and chocolate spread from Italy. Objective the brand's objective is to stay on top of the consumer's mind as a top chocolate spread brand. Strategy The company continually encourages users to share content where they use Nutella spread in novel ways. Results Using user-generated content helped Nutella to save on advertising and increase the brand's visibility dramatically. Dove Dove is a brand of personal care products from the United States. Objective the brand's objective was to lift brand awareness among the female Instagram demographic. Strategy Dove created an emotionally charged series of Instagram posts targeted at women. They used a branded hashtag to raise visibility. Results The campaign helped Dove to boost reach, brand awareness, and social engagement. Instagram Marketing Frequently Asked Questions What's the advantage of Instagram marketing over other platforms? Instagram has been marketed since the very beginning as a platform where people go to see cool pictures and videos about stuff they like. And that's the reason why it is such a good place to promote your products. Instagram users are also more engaged than users on other social media platforms, and they check Instagram often. Do you need a social media manager to help you out? All the stuff you'll learn in this training will help you to become your own social media manager, although you might want some help with Instagram marketing once your business scales. A better solution will be to subscribe to a social media management platform. They're easy to use, are much less expensive, and can align well to your marketing objectives on autopilot. How much money do you have to invest on Instagram marketing? You won't need to invest much when you're getting started, beyond paying a good graphic designer to create a kick-ass logo and images for your profile, as long as you apply all the strategies in this training. You will need to invest some money down the line once you're ready to scale, such as investing money on ads or on influencers, but this isn't as much money as you would spend on a dedicated social media manager. Is advertising a good alternative to Instagram marketing? Advertising your Instagram content is a complementary activity to your overall Instagram marketing strategy. In other words, you can't replace Instagram marketing with advertising, and you can't stop marketing your brand on Instagram once you start running ads. Remember, you are going to use advertising to increase your reach, drive more sales, and scale, and that's just part of Instagram marketing. What's another great complementary marketing strategy for Instagram? Blogging is a great complementary strategy because you can use it to create a loop that goes from your blog to your Instagram content 
and from your Instagram content back to your blog. For example, you can produce images to share on Instagram and create blog posts about those pictures as well. You can then upload one of those pictures to Instagram with a call to action, inviting users to visit your blog through the link in your bio. And you can also embed the post with the picture into a blog post. That way you can generate traffic between both marketing channels. What's a common Instagram marketing mistake? Inconsistency is a very common mistake that can cost you the relevance of your account. To avoid this mistake, simply stick to a regular posting frequency, interact with followers when appropriate, and participate in trends when they're hot. That's how you let your followers know that your brand is active. What type of businesses thrive on Instagram? Any business with a visual appeal can thrive on Instagram easily. For example, e-commerce brands can thrive because Instagram is the perfect place to post nice product pics. Fitness brands can post videos and images that showcase their products being used during workouts or outdoors. Businesses in the food industry, such as restaurants, breweries, or bakeries can also use Instagram to entice Instagram users with mouth-watering images and videos showing their products. Electronic stores can also leverage Instagram to upload sleek pictures of their products. In short, you can thrive as long as you have a cool product or service to show on camera. What type of businesses would have a hard time on Instagram? Businesses that sell more abstract solutions, such as software or consulting companies, are going to find it difficult to promote their products or services on Instagram and should, in fact, use other platforms instead. Also, business-to-business -business companies, which thrive on more professional and sales-oriented environments. What are some key metrics to pay attention to? Key metrics that are important to track on Instagram include engagement per follower, which tells you how much each individual follower interacts with your account. Follower growth, which tells you the consistency at which your number of followers is growing, the number of comments received compared against your total number of followers, and reach. Is SEO essential on Instagram? SEO isn't as essential as is using hashtags correctly. This is because content on Instagram is indexed through hashtags. In other words, people will find your Instagram content when they use keywords that are included in your hashtags.